everyone i'm live this morning i just want to do a really short video remember i must pass this gcs this gcse exam that's around the corner i'm encouraging as many people as possible who are writing gcses to keep revising and keep positive because you must pass and this is my own little effort towards encouraging you and supporting you with your revision so this morning i'm going to do a really quick video about some exam questions that students avoid that is the calculation questions please please and please one more time always do the calculation questions remember in my seven tips on how uh, things you can do to up your gcse grades by two levels i did mention the fact that calculator is allowed on the science paper you will be allowed to calculate on the physics chemistry and biology so make sure you use it some students make the error of not using it please make sure you use it this question that i'm going to look at this is, a, this is a question that was done for me by one of the young people that I work with. So this young man, he, he, uh, he uh, did the calculation. He actually understood what to do to a large extent. It's quite small, but this is um, a large version of that question. That's question 19. He was given, on this paper, you're given the formula. Yeah, the, it says the formula for the equation which links charge, energy, and potential difference is energy transferred equals charge and potential difference. And in the question, they were given the values that they needed to use. He did it. He understood what he was supposed to do. However, he did not do his conversion correctly. Now, the value of the... Um, the value of the potential um, difference that was given was given in a certain uh, uh, value. It was 60 kV. Now, kV means kilovolt, all right? Because it's kilovolt, he needed to convert that 60, first of all, to volts. So he needed to multiply it by a 1,000. <clears throat> so that was his little error. He needed to multiply that by a thousand, in which case, when you multiply that by a thousand, you will get 60,000. So by getting 60,000, that automatically changes the answer that you're going to get. So because he did not do that simple conversion, he wasn't able to get the full marks. So remember to do your conversion. That would then change that to 60,000. And then by the time you multiply that, with the um, charge that you've been given, you'll be able to calculate the energy that's transferred. So that's 0 0.00040 in front of it. And then that, when you use a calculator to work that out, you get the right answer, which was 2, 4, yeah. Okay. So that was the final um answer i suppose yeah i'm just using what how i corrected his work eventually so the only error that he faced here was he used a 60 directly you do not use a 60 directly you have to convert it uh, so when you do your calculation questions remember to do your conversions now there's another one that i put up there as well that's another question that he did for this particular question he completely ignored it this student did not attempt this question you know we've we've said you had to learn this by the way this is aqa physics uh p1 the assessment material that has been released from um uh by the aqa exam board remember you you were given a a series of equations that you need to learn for the exam but what what i found out is by looking at the assessment materials there are places and by the way this is a foundation paper by there are places where they have indicated for you the formula that links what you the the formula or the equation that links the question they're asking you to answer and in that case you hit a jackpot why do i say that because once you have the equation or the formula you are able to calculate the question the, the question now this is an enlarged this was the one he did for me this is an enlarged version of that you can see from his work he left it completely blank and that was a four mark question 
four solid marks. That's why I say to you, by just following my uh, revision, you can rake in as many as 20 marks minimum. The one I just did is a total of two marks. This is four marks just by following the equation. So the question says that the new Shah has, obviously talking about a previous question, the new Shah um, has a power output of 10,690 watts when it is connected to the 230 volt mains electricity supply. Then the next line of the question says, the equation which links current potential difference and power is current equals power divided by potential difference. Now, if since your car, it, say, it says uh, calculate the current, since you're calculating the current, all you had to do was look for the power which is on top, which is 10,690, pop it on top and divide it by 230. Now, that is so simple. This is so simple to work out. But look at that, the student left that out. And, I, and when I was speaking with him, he looked at it and said, oh, I know this. That's always the issue. The, you, I know you know it. I know many of you are capable of doing it. All I'm asking you is to please read the question. And remember that you are given a calculator. You are allowed a calculator. So by just putting these numbers here and working it out with a calculator, we got 46 volts. When I did it with him, he, was, he did it with me and said, oh, I actually understand this. I said to him, you need to always read the question properly. I hope this has been helpful for you. Watch out for more of my videos. I'll upload this. I'm, I'm live on Instagram right now, but I'll upload the video later on on my channel. And my channel is GCSE Exam Success. That is my channel on YouTube is GCSE Exam Success. Remember, you must keep positive and keep revising because why? You must pass. This has been Mrs. Gladys Adele and thanks for joining me.